This is the MOA GE100 Guitar Multi Effects Processor, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And um, when it first came, it sounded absolutely terrible. It was all over the place. And I think that it must have come, I don't know what happened, but it came boxed up with this, just boxed like that. It just came boxed in that box, like it wasn't sealed or anything like that. It just came like this, with an Amazon label on it, and it was open. So, I thought, well, okay, whatever. I plugged it in, and it sounded unbelievably bad. I thought, oh my god, what have I done here? I've bought some piece of old crap. But, you know, I fiddled about a bit today, and I found out that what probably happened is maybe they tested it at the factory to make sure it was working okay and they'd messed around with these modes and presets and they was all over the place so I went back set them all back to what I wanted to hear you'll hear in the sound samples that I did I've got some great tones on this thing some really really good tones um, but a lot of them you think oh god that needs work but you can adjust it you can change it to whatever you want anyway I've been farting about it this thing if you've got one of these at home and you've had trouble setting it up, let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll try and sort of work through whatever the problem is you have because it is quite simple, but when you first turn it on, you think, God almighty, there's so many different options that it can be quite confusing. But um, I got my head around it pretty quick because I'm into IT and computers and all that kind of stuff. So for this, to me, it was just, it's a menu system. It's got a really great LCD display very very big and bright you can see it from even with my without no glasses on I can see what I'm doing so yeah pretty good I'm gonna do a few videos on this contraption because it's quite a lot of fun and it's got a drum machine and it. it's got a whole bunch of different things I can't possibly do it in a short video but it's got quite a lot of uh, different functions and if you've got one of these things or you would like to hear something in particular make a comment down below and let me know what you what you're interested in listening to i'm going to go through everything I, I think i might do two or three videos on this because there's a lot to cover but interesting listen to the drum machine just for example i haven't got it turned on <laughs> metronome blimey <laughs> There's a lot of functions on this thing and it's a lot of fun. There are such things as doors, digital um, audio workstations. And I've got a few of them like BandLab and that kind of stuff. But it's too fiddly. I don't like I don't like working with them. It's just my personal preference. I actually prefer a piece of old kit. This is like analog. It's digital, but it reminds me of the analog days. And you can just pre preset what you want, whack it in and bang. You can define it. You can do that in the computer programs, but I don't... It doesn't work for me. I don't like it for some reason. It's just not my cup of tea. I like working with an amp, a guitar, and, and this effects pedal. Okay, so this is the clean tone. Okay, this is an example of what I'm talking about. This is the PO1 slot. It's supposed to be dynamic clean. So listen to this, what they call dynamic clean. So obviously that's not dynamic clean because you've got delay, you've got reverb, you've got all kinds of stuff going on there. So let's turn a few of them off and see what happens. Turn that off. Turn that off. Clean amp. Phaser off. Phaser off. Play. Now, listen to this. Don't 
that's just to give you an example of what the uh, presets, all these presets were like. They were all over the place. So that's a clean tone. But as, I, as you just saw, it had flanger on it. It had all kinds of different things on it. So I don't know what happened there, but maybe it was used by somebody else and then sent back and then sold on. Or maybe it came like that from the factory. There is a reset button you can press on this thing that you can reset everything back to factory defaults. I haven't done that. There's no point. I can just change these quickly enough on my own. So, yeah, that's a clean tone. <laughs> clean flanger. This is Jazz Clean. tuner you just plug it in hit these two buttons simultaneously and then you can tune up that's my E low E okay A D G B and E. Okay, right, so that works. Let's try a chord progression. Let's try a bit of bluesy kind of thing. This is for making little backing tracks so you can play along with yourself. So I've got a bit of a flangey thing going on here. Let's just uh, try this. That sounds alright, so let's put some other stuff on it. Right, that sounds like a real dog's dinner, but you get the idea. So you just have to mess around with it, you have to play with this thing. Let's see what it sounds like now. Just, I mean, my God, that was all over the place. But that's the first time I've used it. But you can quite build up some quite uh, good loops. But the timing is everything. You've got to get this hit right on the beat. And I didn't do that a couple of times. I, don't, I think I missed it a couple of times, but have a go. <laughs> God, that's horrible. <laughs> but at least I got it working. Now, 
I'm still fiddling about this. It's the first time I've actually used it since I got it because I looked at it and thought, Jesus Christ, this is a bit of a mess because it sounded terrible when I first got it out of the box uh, because obviously someone had messed about with all the presets. But it's okay, it's working okay now. Uh, then now I've just got to get used to playing it, playing with it. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Watch this space. If you've got any uh, suggestions that you would like me to look into, let me know in the comments and I'll do a follow up video to this. I'm going to do some more videos to this as I get better, obviously. So, that's the mower G100 multi effects pedal. Very interesting, they're not expensive. And for the, all the different effects that you've got on this, you could buy 20 different effects pedals and they're all going to, you know, this does all of that. It does phasing, it does uh, flanging, it does all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do a few videos on this contraption because it's quite a lot of fun. And it's got a drum machine and it's got a whole bunch of different things. I can't possibly do it in a short video. But it's got quite a lot of uh, different functions and... If you've got one of these things or you would like to hear something in particular, make a comment down below and let me know what, you, what you're interested in listening to. I'm going to go through everything. I think I might do two or three videos on this because there's a lot to cover. But interesting. That's all for now. See you next time.